In this video, we'll take you through the process of how to use liquid latex to make masks and heads for props. Here's all the process. Uh, you can see we start off, of course, with our styrofoam head here and then we start building up the surface. I use newspaper duct tape to build up the surface. Duct tape is great because the latex doesn't like to stick to it at all. So I don't have to powder this, I don't have to prep it with any other surface. I just have the duct tape and it seems to work pretty good. Now I'm not going super heavy on the latex to where it's coating through a lot, but, but this is pretty much what it is. The next step here, you can see that there's actually a head sock. This is uh, for dart bike riders, motor motorcycle riders, but it's a balaclava. I uh, order these from Amazon. Um, there are different kinds. Make sure you get some that are going to be cool for your actors. Make sure it's thin, but uh, I mean, there's a fine line between thin and just not durable. These are cotton. We've experimented with polyester, nylon blends. Uh, these were fairly affordable. Another reason I like these particular head socks is because it covers the neck as well. It's also got this little bib that cuts in front, so if your actor's shirt is a little bit unbuttoned at the top, you actually can continue that that illusion that it's part of one piece. Uh, once I have the head sock on there, there's a massive gap for the eye holes. That's not going to work for us. So what I do is I take cheesecloth and I liquid latex that into place, let that dry before I do any of the sculpting. And at this point, then I just start building up the surface with the cotton, the latex. I'm going to show you what it looks like after I've added liquid latex and cotton, uh, where it's heavy with cotton and latex you can not see through the mask obviously it's more opaque and then where it's a little bit lighter it's it's fairly translucent and finally i have what i want painted up how i want to have it and then we're good to go with the mask these are five of our masks that we've used the same process the cotton the latex to create the mask form just like the head form uh, even used you can see this one, you can see that there are fingernails again, fake fingernails. Uh, these eyes here and here are actually made out of ping pong balls that have been sliced in half and painted to look like eyes. Here we have some of the heads, finished head sculpts that we're going to use on some of our props, some of our mannequins. First of all, we start off with a foam head. These foam heads, you can buy different varieties, uh, even different colors. The color, of course, doesn't matter, but uh, we've got the, the male form and the, the smaller female form. Uh, we do use these smaller female forms to rest some of our mask on, but we do not use these to sculpt. To sculpt, we use these larger male heads. Um, it gives us a good base. Latex, uh, I buy it by the gallon. This is from Morris Hollywood. I, I actually get this on Amazon. Uh, it's serviceable, it's perfectly fine. I'm sure you can find much better products, but it definitely works for what we're doing to make these head forms. Um, also using cotton balls to build up the surface. Uh, these cotton balls just got from Dollar General, and I got these because they actually unravel really well into these nice long pieces, which make building up the surface a lot better because it gives you that nice, muscly, sinewy look that we want. So of course it comes in the the cotton ball form and then you just unroll it. Uh, you can definitely find this by actually seeing, you can see, I may not be able to see on the video, but there's actually, you can see a visible spiral there. Look for that when you get it, you want to be able to unroll it. So we have our latex, we have our cotton, and that's pretty much what we use to build up the form. I do not have an in progress right now. Of course, you just saw this earlier, but all this is, is building up the surface with cotton and latex. So all these pronounced areas of the brow and the cheekbones, uh, the nose, I actually went with a, uh, and just cut away the nose to make it look more concave there. Um, and then the only other thing other than latex and cotton that I'm building up the three-dimensional surface would be the teeth itself. And the teeth are just fake nails. Bought this set of fake nails at Walmart. You can get these anywhere. I even bought some at Dollar General. The ones at Dollar General were a little more transparent, but honestly, if you paint it, it really doesn't matter that much. Dollar General is a little more flimsy too, so the ones at Walmart. And I do look for the ones that have a flat tip. So I don't want it 
round, I want it more like a tooth. It still has a slight curve to it, but it's more flat across the top there, which is what we're wanting for the teeth. After that, of course, after everything dries and is set up, then I just go back with acrylic paint and I uh, paint it up. Um, it's just standard acrylic paint, nothing special. If anyone has any questions about the process of the mask making or the head form sculpting, please let me know. Send me a comment uh, and I'll be happy to answer any questions that you have. Also, thank you for all the people who've been subscribing and watching our videos. We, we appreciate the, the kind comments and, and, and let, keep letting us know what you think. Thanks for watching.